Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm a day late on this one. I was busy all day yesterday, but I'm here. I'm going to talk about and take a look at all of the new unlockable content for this year's Halloween Terror event. You can see all the stuff they got here. Let's take a look at them. What's new? And then we'll open the loot box later. I've already seen, I think, everything there is. Um, in terms of the skins, at least in some capacity. Skeleton Genji is the first thing we have, the week one challenge skin. Um, not really a huge fan of this one myself. Um, it's just not really my, like, my thing. Um, you know, just... It's an epic skin, so, you know, it's to be expected that it's not my favorite skin, but I, I'm just not super into the look of it. I don't, I actually don't... <laughs> I think it looks really weird. Um, so... Not my favorite, but not the worst skin I've ever seen. Clown Roadhog. This is a really good epic skin. Um, I thought it was a legendary skin when they first showed it off. Uh, but no, it's an epic skin, which is, is pretty good. Um, now, the more I see it, the more it looks like an epic skin, obviously. Not in a bad way. Like, it looks like, you know, other than the head, it's not that much different from normal Roadhog. Um, in terms of, like, the model, so that's probably why it's an epic skin. Here's the hook, little star on it, little Bozo the Clown star. And then you got, oh, it looks like a circus tent. Oh, I really like this skin. This is a really good epic skin. This might be my favorite epic skin they've done for any of the events so far. Though, I do think that Summer Games had some good ones, um, that I unfortunately didn't get. Um, but, uh... This is pretty good. I like this one a lot. And then we have Einherjar for Zarya. This is actually pretty good. I like this skin. For an, it's not my favorite. I still like uh, the one she got for Archives? No, Anniversary. Or anniversary skin, that's what it was. This one's pretty good. I like this skin. Here's her little weapon pretty cool. I like the look of it. Zarya to me has always been a, a character that's had some pretty weak legendary skins, but I think she's got some pretty good epic skins, and this is up there. Very like Norse mythology type, so very, very nice. Coffin Bastion. What? What'd they do to Ganymede? What'd they, what'd they do to him? Why is he dead? Why'd they kill Ganymede? Oh my... I like this, the little coffin thing on the gun a bony hand the lantern for the head this is pretty good this is a pretty good skin the more I look at it the cooler it gets turret form not bad I like this and then tank form oh look at the treads why <laughs> why are they look they look so like padded and they look like a couch that makes me mildly uncomfortable i don't really know it's interesting though not a bad skin i like it i like it next we have mommy i mean vampire hunter brig um i have the golden weapon on her so this is looking a little uh not exactly what you would want to see but oh oh this skin is so good Oh god, I love Brig. Oh man, <laughs> I love this skin. I mean, look at just look at just look at all this. Just look at this. I don't know if I like it more than Shield Maiden, but it's definitely like I'll switch between the two. You know, I'll, I'll use them both. I'll probably if I get this one, um, use this one more right now because it's the the current skin. Um, here, let me real quick. Let's let's do a real quick unequipping of the golden weapon just so you can get a better look at uh, the way it actually looks as you can see looks pretty nice pretty nice big fan of that and here's her shield pretty cool I like this skin a lot um, she was one of the characters who I don't think had any Halloween skins but she was um, 
she's in like the Junkenstein's Revenge. Now, they've always referred to her as the Shield Maiden, so I'm sure that's just the one they were talking about. But maybe they'll change it. Maybe she's the Vampire Hunter now. Maybe they change the voice lines. I don't know. But it's a cool skin. I like it a lot. And then, of course, there's the Vampire Bat. There's their target. We got Echo. Oh, the wings are really nice. I saw this skin when they put it on Twitter. But I try not to like look at them too much because I like to give my kind of like initial reactions when I do the videos. So I wasn't really a huge fan of this skin when I saw it, but I didn't really look at the wings when it was on Twitter. And those wings are really, really cool. And it's just like a, a blood vial up on the top. She's just holding on to some blood. I don't really like the head. I think the head looks kind of strange. Like, I know that's like, the way a vampire bat looks. Like, obviously, that's why that's the, the design they went with with her head. And I think the wings look pretty cool, but it's definitely not my favorite Echo skin. Um, but it's pretty good. It's not bad. I'm sure some people will be more uh, fans of this skin than I am, and that, that's totally expected. And it's not a bad skin by any means. It's just not my cup of tea. But there it is. If Seder Lucio, oh man, he looks, uh, why did they make him such an evil looking Seder? Seder's always like nice and sweet, and they're just like, nah, we're gonna make Lucio like the most evil looking type of Seder. And you know what? I respect it. I like his shoes. Look at his shoes. He's got like ram horns and skull, it's like Seder horns, I guess. And like sharp little, this, this is a cool skin. He's got, his hair is very, uh, spiky. But then it's still blue in the back, which I think is really funny. Like, it's very red and dark and like glowing red, but then just this like blue soul thing trapped in the back here. It's a good skin though. Ooh, look at that. That's really nice. That's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty is not the word you normally use to describe this, but it looks cool. All right, not a bad skin. Not a bad skin. Finally, for the skin, we have Draugr Reinhardt. This skin is so good. This skin is amazing. I'm a big Skyrim fan. I love Skyrim. Um, this skin feels very Skyrim-like. Obviously, Draugr are not exclusive to Skyrim. They're obviously a, um, a, a piece of mythology and whatnot in, in Norse culture. But just look at them. Just look at this skin. I mean... He's, first of all, he's jacked, which we already knew that, but you, you they're actually showing him. This is, like, one of the few skins where Reinhardt's, like, not wearing armor everywhere. Like, he's always armored. He's not armored in this skin. The broken horn. The arrows are really, really cool. I love the arrows in the skin. He's got an axe, which, you know, looks pretty cool. Um... I like that's a double-sided axe, and like the rockets are on the side. This skin is really, really good. These skins this time around are really, really good. Um, even the epic skins really good. Like this one and this one, I think are both really good epic skins. Like the best epic skins we've gotten for events in a while. But I mean, they, look at this skin. I mean, this skin is beautiful. This skin's so good, and this skin's really good. This skin's really good. Coffin is even really good. And I think Vampire Bat's good as well. So, really good skins. Let's look at the emotes, though. Everyone's favorite thing, the emotes. First one is Zombie Walk for Batiste. Oh. Oh, my. I don't like the, like, the bone cracking that was in this one. I don't like that one. We have Boo for Moira. I love it. I love it. That's such a Moira thing to do. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. We have magic pumpkins for Sigma. He's, dead. He's playing with pumpkins. No, he broke the pumpkins! Don't do that! Alright. Now we have victory poses. We have pumpkin for Soldier 76. We have pumpkin for Torbjorn. Oh, it's got little legs. It's got little turret legs. I love it. And then we have pumpkin for Zenyatta. Oh, look at him. He's just holding it. How kind. Thank you, Zenyatta. Kind, kind man. We have voice lines now. First one is knock knock for Doomfist. Knock knock. 
didn't expect the laugh, but I really like it. I like it. He's he sounds sounds kind of evil. We have the archer vanished for Hanzo. The archer vanished into the darkness. Hmm. So he did. We have can't scare me for junk rep. You can't scare me. I'm ah! that one doesn't count. <laughs> That's a very junk rat voice line. I like that one. We have Where's My Candy for Reaper. Where's my candy? We have Beneath Your Bed for Roadhog. Did you check Beneath Your Bed? <laughs> mm. Roadhog is unironically one of the most terrifying heroes in Overwatch. If he was under my bed, one, I'd be surprised. My bed is not that big underneath so I'd be really surprised if he was under there but also I wouldn't want Roadhog under my bed because it would be terrifying all right everyone has ghosts for Soldier 76 everyone has ghosts thank you soldier for your infinite wisdom we have you're not alone here for Sombra you're not alone in here oh you're not alone in here uh-huh I see we have not a costume for Torbjorn hey, it's not a costume we have, is that a costume for Tracer? Is that a costume? To which the reply is, Hey, it's not a costume. Beautiful, perfect, thank you. Beautiful acting, perfect. The scene is beautiful, 10 out of 10. Final spray, final spray. Final voice line is a full moon for Winston. Stay away from me. Nice. We got sprays to look at now. We have the coffin spray for Bastion, of course. We have the vampire hunter for Brig. I know the quality is a little, a little bad. We have vampire bat echo. Oh, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Skeleton Genji. That one's alright. Sater Lucio. Oh, that one's so good. We have Draugr Reinhardt. That one's pretty cool. We have Clown Roadhog. We have Einherjar Zarya. And then, of course, you know, you've got Season 31 Competitor, and Season 31 Hero, and then the Competitive Team Deathmatch, you know, whatever. And then you have this one, <laughs> which is the Overwatch League Summer Showdown Tournament spray that they added uh, from, you know, Dragons when they won Summer Showdown. I'm glad that they did the somber one. Um, because this is, and like the fireworks, I think this is supposed to be a reference to the Lijiang Tower EMP where Lip threw the translocator out over the edge and EMP'd um, Mercy and Farah. So it was Jinmu and Eveltal, I think. I think that's what this is supposed to be a reference to. That's my guess. That's just my guess for what it's supposed to be. And then we have Tiny Champion for people who watch the Grand Finals. So there we go. That's pretty cool. That's all the new unlockable stuff. Let's real quick, though open my loot box and see what I get. There's also all the um, profile pictures. Wow. Didn't get anything. I got a, I got a duplicate player icon. I got the tw You're not alone in here. What no, the no. heck? I <laughs> thought it was always a legendary. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Okay, well career profile, let's go to the player icons. I know there's some new ones. We're gonna collapse all of them. Halloween Terror. So the ones for this year. Poor me, I can never get that one. Uh, so the Vampire Hunter one. We have Einar Yar. Einar Yar. Or Einar Jar, I guess it's Einar Yar. We have Draugr. Vampire Bat. Clown. Coffin. Satyr. And Skeleton. So I didn't get anything good in that loot box. That's unfortunate. Makes me sad. Hey, I got some coins, though. Anyway, of the skins, my favorite is Vampire Hunter, right? Like, obviously. I'm a Brig fan. I love me some Brig. Didn't get anything good, though, in my loot box, which is very disappointing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get something good eventually in these loot boxes. But I guess we'll see. We'll wait, and we'll see what happens. But that's it for me for today. Those are all of the skins for the Halloween Terror event for 2021. Let me know your thoughts down below on all of the collectible items, all of the skins, all of the voice lines, sprays, whatever. Which ones are your favorites? Which ones are you not as big on? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you, but that is all from me for today. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and more like in the future, consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, bye-bye.